targeted therapies for people with ROS1 mutations, well, we have a fantastic drug. It's a very good first-line therapy option. It's called crizatinib. Uh, crizatinib is, uh, honestly, uh, one of our uh, 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 newly uh, uh, enrolled sort of drugs that we're using for ROS1 mutations specifically. It has known to actually have very good effects. However, like with everything, there are potential side effects. Wonderful thing about the side effects are the following. Your healthcare team will never let you have the side effects without thinking deeply about the risks and the benefits of continuing on that therapy or switching to alternative therapies. No one wants to actually have you have a medicine that gives you side effects like, you know, that are more than bothersome. Uh, that ultimately, or in some cases, could be life-threatening even, no one will ever put you in that situation. Having said that, the truth of the matter is, if you are having side effects, uh, even mild, let your physician know. Because just like everything we now are entering an age of, we're entering an age of options. So crizatinib, certainly for ROS1 mutation, is an effective drug, but know that there are others being developed as we speak, and know that there are definitely treatment options that are available if you don't either A, have a good response to crizatinib, or if you're having side effects.